A unique dining experience is happening this week in the East Valley. The Mystery Chef Dinner is not so much a mystery on Sonoran Living this morning as one of the participating chefs, Josh from Posh Restaurant, joins us in our Stone Creek kitchen with East Valley Institute of Technology student Matt Lovegrove. It's good to have both of you guys here. Thank you. We're happy to be here, aren't we, Matt? Yes. Okay, thank you. so chef student. Exactly. Matt is also an employee of Posh, but has been a student at EBIT for the last two years almost, okay. getting ready to graduate. And every year in March, they do a Mystery Chef's Dinner, where the purpose of it is you show up, you buy a ticket, your ticket has a number on it, and they open the doors and you sit down at a table, and next thing you know, you're next to whichever chef is going to be working and cooking your dinner with students from the school. So there's guys like Bo McMillan, Mark Tarbell, Matt Taylor from NOCA, me. There's 12 of us in general. So okay. We all get to come and do a three or four course dinner for people who have no idea whose food they're going to be eating for the Okay, day. well let's talk about some of the, the meals that we're preparing here and then I want to find out a little bit later from Matt how, uh, how it feels to kind of be, you know, rubbing elbows and really kind of really doing what you've been going to school for with some of the best in the valley. But today we're making what? We are making a broccoli chow on mushi, which is a traditional Japanese steamed egg custard. Uh, it's basically almost like a real delicate soup that's thickened with a little bit of egg and then steamed so that it has the nature of a pudding, but then almost melts back into a soup in your mouth. So it's oh, kind okay. of a texture trick. And it's really pretty simple. We're gonna, we have this cooked broccoli, and we're going to take a cup and a, about a cup and a half of chicken stock, chicken broth, or if you're vegetarian, you can do vegetable broth as well. And we're going to just puree it in a blender, which we're not going to do here because that's so loud, you know. But we're going to do a cup and a half of stock to a half a cup of cooked broccoli. We're going to puree it for about a minute and then strain it out so we have this nice broccoli essence. And what we're going to do at that point is we're going to mix it with two whole eggs for every cup of stock. Say it again, two, two, two whole, whole eggs. eggs for every cup of stock. Correct. So if you wind up with two cups of stock, which is what we're going for here, you're going to whisk in four eggs. And the four eggs, be, you can whisk with a whisk, with a fork, and then all you want to do is just run it through a strainer once again, because sometimes, you know, eggs have those mm -hmm. little bits or you can get a shell in there. We're all mm -hmm. human, right? Right. So go through, strain it one more time, and then we're going to drop it into one of these little egg dishes here. And if you don't have fancy lids at home, you can just use a stretch, a little bit of plastic wrap okay. over the top. And then we have a little water bath. Uh, water bath is because it's egg based, it has to be steamed, cooked very, very slowly. If we shock it, we're going to wind up with a scrambled egg custard, and that's okay. no good. Now, I want to go back to the broccoli because this is really what is the, the bulk of it is this and, and this. Sure. To get this bright green color, you've, you've put it in some boiling water and blanched it? Exactly, and then we, we put it right into ice water really fast because that keeps the beautiful green color and keeps it from overcooking it. How long did you stick it in the hot water? What did you say, Matt? We probably did about 30 seconds? Yeah, 45 seconds at most. Okay. Perfect. Cool. So we did about 45 seconds and we sprinkled it with salt because we like to use salt and uh, wind up with after about 10 to 12 minutes, you want to take a look at them and honestly, you just jiggle the side. If Can we get a shot of that because I want people to see how this sure. is because it starts out as liquid exactly. and when you You just want to tap it. the sides and it should jiggle like a little jello. If you cook it above a simmer, it'll scramble the sides. So you just want it to cook slowly and gently and then you wind up with this pretty and little And how do you custom. eat it? You eat that straight out of here with a spoon. It's going to be like a custard. Okay. Exactly. Like I said, it's going to melt right back into a broth. I see. So just barely set. Okay. So, yeah. Um, okay. Now I want to shift my attention to, to, to Matthew real quickly. Uh, so the school, super hands-on. What, describe what you've learned over the course of how long? Well, it's been two years that I've been okay. in the program. East Valley Institute of Technology, it's one of the best schools out there. Uh -huh. Honestly, without the school, I do not know where I would be at. The, right. chef, the head chef there, he's taught me so much. A lot of mentoring going on. Yeah. Uh -huh. You learn a lot of stuff, and you have a lot of opportunities, like me being able to work with Chef Josh, being able to do Mystery Chef, and actually being on... Sonora Living? Yes. Do they teach they, you media training? Because you're very well-spoken. <laughs> There's no. an extra course in how to handle live TV. Because well, you know, he's, doing, he's doing very well. Your, your young lady viewers might notice that, uh, he's the body double and face double for Justin Bieber. So. It's true. It's true. I noticed, yeah. He gets a lot of media time. You've got some screaming girls right outside the door that are waiting for your autograph. Don't tell them that you're not the real deal, okay? All right. Just go with it. I'm okay. just going to think career change. For <laughs> well, um, so tell me a little bit about somewhere along the way that we might be able to kind of mess this up if we wanted to try this at home? Well, the first things you want to be careful of is like, like we have here, we just have a real light simmer on our water and we actually have a, a pot of boiling water. If we need to bring the temperature up a little bit, if it gets too cool, oh. we can just add a little extra water to our pot. So that, that, that water has to stay at a simmer. Exactly. If we get it too high though, we're going to wind up, like we said, with scrambled eggs and you'll notice you'll see a little boiling around the outside edges. That's going to give you kind of a mealy texture that you're not really going to like. Okay. And you can, the great thing about this is whatever your broth is flavored with, 
with whatever kind of seasonings you want to use. You can make adjustments. Some people like a little nutmeg grated in with their broccoli. Some people, you can make one out of carrots if you want to puree carrots. Mm. Uh, you could do a straight chicken with maybe a little celery and onion in there. Okay. Fresh herbs. So it's extremely versatile. I like to use sake instead of white wine because it kind of gives it a little more, just a touch of sweetness almost. Okay. So. Well, I can see this being a, a, a family pleaser depending on how you, you know, whatever the preferences are of your family, whether it's broccoli, carrots, the chicken. Absolutely. Um, all right. Well, Matt, Josh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, we're going to check back in with you a little bit later. We've got a whole assortment of ingredients that I can't wait to see what you do with. Absolutely. It's a mystery.